Howdy folks. So I'm assuming that you've already watched the first video on Teachable Machines. So I'm going to show you a quick, really easy to do extension activity with your kids just to make it that much more interesting, that much more exciting where they can actually create something using the code that they trained or that AI that they made. And it's going to try to predict objects and they can do different um, actions based on that. So let's have a look at it. So I'm quickly just going to speed through another training montage. So bear with me. All right, so we're training our model based on three things. I did uh, plant, I did tape, and I did myself, okay? So we're going to create this model and then we are going to put that into Scratch and then I'll show you what you can do with it. Okay, so we have our model. We can quickly double check it. Boom, plant, bend, tape. Ooh, the tape's not so good. <laughs> if I'm not in, if I'm in the screen, it's not good. All right, that's good enough for what we're doing. So, you can always play around with it and fix it up a bit, but we're going to export the model. So we're going to go to upload my model. And it's gonna create a shareable link. We're gonna put this link into Scratch to actually create our little app or game. Okay, so your shareable link. So this is our shareable link here and it's up to date. So I'm gonna copy this. Okay, so we're going to PRG AI blocks. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can easily find it. There are several different versions of Scratch, so you want to make sure you have the right one. We want this one because if we come down here into the bottom left corner, you'll see Add Extension. So we click on it, and there's lots of different cool extensions you can play with, hand sensing. We could maybe look at that another time. But this has a Teachable Machine plugin, which not everyone does. So we're going to click on it, and here we go. So you want to make sure you're allowing the camera. So make sure if you can't see anything up here, uh, make sure that your camera is allowed. So you can see me down here on the screen. So we're gonna start uh, with our event button. So events are like, if this happens, and they can lead to like, do this. So here we're saying when the green flag is clicked, meaning to start running the, the program, we then we go down to our teachable machine, and we're going to then initiate our model that we made. So that link that we copied is a link to our model. So we just have to simply paste it in. So you see all that hard code. Now it's just reduced down to a link. So it's really simple. So we can hit this and you can see we're down here. So we're good. Okay. When we click on our green flag, we're going to want it, something to happen. So we're going to say when the model detects, and we can say plant and then we can make it do something, okay? So you can say like, instead of hello, you can say, that is a plant for two seconds. Or when the model detects Ben, we can make it say, hi Ben. All right, for two seconds. So we can test that out. So if we hit run, so now it's seeing me, so it's saying, hi, Ben. But if I pull up this, that is a plant. And we can move this little guy around out of the way. Um, so you can do simple things like that. And then we can obviously put the tape in. That is a plant. That is a plant. <laughs> so basically anything that's not Ben is a plant to it right now. So we can duplicate. And then we can say, OK, tape. Say, ooh, tape. Ooh, tapes. <laughs> Hi, Ben. So he's a little friendly guy, okay? I would suggest that you let kids play around and maybe choose different things. So you can actually do stuff like with sounds. And so you can actually have the kids re record their own voices and actually when it sees something, it'll actually play the sound. So if you say like play sound, record. 
So allow them to use your microphone. Ooh, that's some sticky tape. All right. Ooh, that's some sticky tape. Perfect. So play recording one if you see tape. I'm going to te- text me. Um, Ooh, that's some sticky tape. <laughs> when it detects me, we can add another recording. Hello there, Benjamin. We can name it just so we know what's going on. It's so Ben, and then we'll do one more. Ooh, green, green plant. And then boom. So now we have recordings instead of having this little sprite. Hello there, Benjamin. So let's let's try it out. This could get a little annoying in your classroom, but Hello there, Benjamin. Ooh, Ooh hello that's there, some sticky tape. <laughs> hello there, Benjamin. Ooh, green green plant. Hello there, Benjamin. <laughs> All right. So you get the idea. They can play around. Um, they can use uh, different events, different controls, different operators to create their own little game. Ooh, Hello green, there, green Benjamin. plant. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a it's a really great little tool. <laughs> All right. So, if you're having uh, trouble, you can always go back and tune in your little uh, focus in. Obviously, I didn't distinguish between the tape and the other stuff well enough. So, I would just go back into Teachable Machines, and then I could fix my algorithm, and it would do a better job. So you can always uh, save what you've got done and then you have this little activity that you've created or your students have created. The other thing is like motion. So if you see the plant move 10 steps. So I'll give you an example of like an interesting one. I'm going to get rid of the tape because it obviously didn't do a good job with that one. Let's add a bunch of things to make things happen. All right. So I broke it all up into three different when it detects plants. So let's see how this works. Ooh, green, green plant. Hello there, Benjamin. Ooh, green, green plant. Hello there, Benjamin. Ooh, green, green plant. Hello there, Benjamin. All right, so anyway, here's an example of things. Ooh, green, hello green, green there, plant. Benjamin. But yeah, we have to turn that off. So anyway, this is an example of some fun things you can do with the kids. It's really easy to do. It's like building Lego with code. And all the heavy lifting is done by Teachable Machines behind the scenes in this little algorithm. Okay? So uh, if you have any further questions, you can hit me up. Alrighty, Have a good one. See you in the next one.